they're stabbing her, they're stabbing her. He says he then ran into the game room and saw the woman lying on the ground with two stab wounds lying in a pool of blood. And it's tributes like this along US 59 in Wharton County that welcome the veterans to the crossroads. Here today, the newly inaugurated officials delivered a clear cut message that today is a new day in Texas. And with the river expected to rise another seven feet, that has some residents concerned about flooding. Hola y bienvenidos a tus noticias locales 45. Yo soy Mike Jimenez. They advised her that this is a civil matter and to seek legal advice. For now, they said she can cut the limbs herself. But that's not what she wants to hear. And with a jackpot of over $1.5 billion, this is a prize that even this reporter can't resist. And the people we spoke to today say they also hope to strike it rich. By the time I made it through the cloud of smoke, everything was gone. But I thank God that I made a children make it. It was at 4.45 Thursday morning that Victoria firefighters were called out to a home in the 2600 block of Mumford Street. When they arrived, the house was fully engulfed in flames. We spoke with Willie Robinson, who lived at the home about that moment. Basically waking up uh, with Archie saying, hey, the house is on fire. And in a matter of seconds, we hollered and get the kids out. There were six people inside the home, including three children. Robinson recalls their daring escape from the burning home. I opened the door and just the blaze hit me in, in the face and fried my hair. And I just kind of turned around and we had to get out. Everyone did make it out safely, but the family lost everything. And while the home was completely destroyed, the family that lives here is left sifting through the ashes of what remains of their belongings. But they say they will be strong and they will move on. Oh, yes, we plan to rebuild. We plan to rebuild. And fire officials say the cause of the fire is still under investigation. But Robinson says she is very thankful for all the support she has gotten so far from the community. And even though she has lost everything, she is still hopeful as a mother and being that close seconds away that looking at this and knowing that all of us walked out, it's okay. In Victoria, I'm Mike Jimenez for your hometown news. This weekend is the 10th annual Warriors Weekend, and today the event got kicked off in Houston as more than 550 Iraq and Afghanistan veterans were flown in to Bush International Airport for the celebration. We're just one big family, all branches. And when we come here, we just, you know, come together and, and just have a good time. Warriors Weekend is a nonprofit organization which honors and brings veterans from all across the country on an all-expense paid trip to the crossroads. This is my first time and I'm just looking around and there are a lot of people here. So I'm really looking forward to this weekend. I hear it's a blast. And today, several law enforcement agencies and active military personnel came out to show their support for the veterans. I like people come out to support us and then we still as military get to support those who got wounded in war and just give our support. It makes me feel really good. After some music, food and salutes, the veterans boarded buses and headed from Houston in a procession to the crossroads. And it's tributes like this along US 59 in Wharton County that welcome the veterans to the crossroads. I just want to tell them thank you for all they do for us and you know we honor each and every one of them. Just a great thing feeling to come out here and tell them how much we appreciate them and see the looks in their eyes for us being out here because they look back at me and say we appreciate you. And Anna Swanson who has attended Warriors Weekend once before says this event does more than just honor veterans. An awesome feeling to know that you're not forgotten. You know and, and that's uh, that is so important to us. In Victoria, I'm Mike Jimenez for your hometown news. It was just before noon today the deputies from the Victoria County Sheriff's Office Special Operations Unit made a routine traffic stop along Highway 77. Whenever they came across the van that you see behind me, uh, a search was conducted of the van. Inside that cold storage food truck, deputies see 60 pounds of cocaine with a street value of nearly three quarters of a million dollars. This vehicle made it through the border checkpoint, made it through the checkpoint at Falfuris, 
Then we'll stop by another agency. Deputies arrested 42-year-old Juan Carlos Garcia of Mission, Texas, and charged him with possession of a controlled substance. The deputies who made the bus are part of a highway interdiction team which specifically targets drugs coming to and through Victoria. Just a prime example of the quality of personnel that we have at Sheriff's Office. These folks out here working the roads, uh, doing their duties every day, exemplify the excellence in law enforcement that the sheriff speaks about. In Victoria, I'm Mike Jimenez for your hometown news.